Hey everybody, how you doing? This is about to be a really fun video. Out at the range today with heavy metal and I am more excited about this video probably over any other video in the past 12 months or so. That is because for this video we are sighting in my 6.8 Western rifle. I've been trying to get my hands on one of these rifles for almost a year. Today is the day. I stayed up last night till 5.30 in the morning getting this baby all set up, put together, torqued down, and this is gonna be one of our hunting rigs, one of our long range precision rigs. We're about to film a whole bunch of videos and learn ourselves hands-on experience on the 6.8 Western cartridge. I've read and heard a lot of uh, good things about the cartridge. This is definitely going to be one of our new long range rigs and definitely going to be one of our hunting rigs. Stay tuned this fall for at least one hunting video with this rifle, maybe two, maybe three. But speaking of hunting, let me tell you about the sponsor of today's video. Hunting Clash is free to play and available on both iOS and Android platforms. The game takes you to breathtaking hunting spots all over the world, including one of my favorite places to hunt, Montana. You're able to select from a wide choice of weapons all the way from sniper rifle down to bow and use other gear like sonar and super buffs. You're able to hunt over 100 different animals from all over the world, including wolf, wapiti, aka elk, mule deer, mountain goat, and tons of others, just to give you a few examples there. You can also play player versus player through duels and championships. There are new events every week to check out new adventures. Download the game through the link in the description to help support the channel. You might be able to tell from the decor of this bedroom that we are big time hunters. Don't we like to hunt? Yeah! <laughs> My kids actually love this game, Hunting Clash. They've been playing it for quite a while. Do you guys want to play Hunting Clash or just go to bed? Hunting, Hunting Clash! Clash. Alright, let's 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 take a look real quick and see what they're playing. Alright man, show me what you're hunting here. A fox. Oh, I think that's Coyote. Smoke him. Oh, got him. Yeah, Coyote. Let's see what you're... Hunting, baby girl. Whoa. I'm gonna shoot the one in the back. This would be a girl for a little Oh, got him. Good shot. There you go. 104 points. That's a big one. Again, a big thanks to Hunting Clash for sponsoring this video. You guys look for the link down below. Go download it. I guarantee you're gonna get a kick out of it and have fun playing it just like we do. But like I said, for this video today, we are going to be sighting this rifle in dead on at 100 yards. Then for some future videos, we're going to do all the uh, calculations, take it out long range. I want to shoot this one at a mile. Don't tell anybody. But that video is coming soon. At least the attempt of it. Um, very efficient cartridge from what I've read. Let me show you one real quick. It's a short action cartridge. So there you go. Short, fat, and stubby. Um, something to what you might see in a 270 short mag or a 300 short mag. Those short, fat, stubby rounds. But I'm not going to get into all the nerdy science in this video. I'm too excited to get it out and sight it in. But essentially, from what I read, uh, Winchester and Browning got together to design the ultimate cartridge flat shooting high ballistic coefficient lots of power down range even at extended uh, distances this ammo i'm going to sight it in with today i picked this because simply i have the most of it um, so that's what i'm going to sight it in with but let me show you up close this is the browning 6 8 western 175 grain long range pro hunter with those sierra tipped game king rounds I'll show you the box here real quick 175 grain bullet at 2835 feet per second at the muzzle 
And there's the numbers there, guys. A G1 ballistic coefficient of 617. And there are more uh, higher even than that in some other rounds, but this is what we're shooting here today. I'm so excited, I didn't even tell you what the rifle is. This is a Winchester XPR. A definitely a budget-friendly uh, rifle, hunting rig. I'd call it a, a good hunting uh, rifle. I have one in the 300 Winchester short mag and absolutely love it. For the money, they have a pretty good trigger, bolt smooth. Let me take you over to the desk and show you exactly what I put on here, the rail, the rings and everything. One of the things that's frustrating for me when I'm setting up a new rifle is how high should the rings be uh, for this scope, for this rifle. That's one of the things that I just absolutely drives me nuts is scope ring height. If you watch the channel, you know some of mine are pretty high because I don't have the patience or the time to fool with getting the perfect setup. But for this one, I took the time and got the perfect setup. So I'm going to show you what I used just in case uh, you're planning on running something similar. Just so you have the info and you can copy me. But pretty cool. Let me go show you the setup on here. Then we're going to get to flinging some 6.8. It's going to be a whole lot of fun. I can't wait. Let me show you the setup real quick. All right, so back at the bench here, like I said, I just put this together early, early this morning, fresh out of the box. But this is a Winchester XPR. You guys that watch the channel know that when I go to get a new caliber, I almost always just buy the cheapest rifle that I can get, and that just happens to be the Winchester XPR. But I do have experience with these rifles, and I am a fan of them. The biggest thing I like about these is the trigger. The trigger you get for the money on the XPRs, I absolutely dig it. On top, I've got a Hawk Frontier 30 SF. I'll show you the box here, but this is a 5 to 30 Zoomies Optic. It's got a whole lot of goodies on top of it. Mill reticle inside, side parallax illumination. Awesome, awesome scope. And I actually did take the time to make a pretty good fitment not three feet off the barrel on this one like I do sometimes. The rail I got here, I bought this little pulled rail. I'll show you exactly the one I got. This is the short action Winchester XPR 20 MOA rail. So that rail right there is going to help us take this 6.8 Western out to some longer ranges. Gives us that extra little tilt to help us stretch out long range. And then these rings, definitely some budget-friendly rings. You guys know I'm a budget-friendly guy. These are some Leupold Rifleman's medium height. Medium height, if you're running something similar, that medium height will get you that barrel clearance right there. We might have been able to get away with some short rings and move the scope a little bit further back, but you can see where the... Uh, Eyeball is going to be this scope has a four inches of eye relief, which is incredible, but These are definitely budget friendly. I think I paid 15 bucks for these. Yeah $16 for those rings so budget friendly setup But I think it's definitely gonna do the job for us That was real quick running you through my setup on the 6.8 Hopefully that helped you if you're trying to run something similar even in a different caliber on these XPRs. I'm going to get my laser bore sighter out and get the scope tweaked in in the ballpark. We're going to take a quick shot, then we're going to take it back to 100 yards. I definitely don't want to be burning a whole bunch of this ammo up. It's not the cheapest. Right now, two and a half bucks per round, sometimes three, depending on which one you're getting. But I'm going to laser bore sight it here real quick, then we'll get to flinging them. Everybody's got their own way of sighting in rifles. This is the way that I do it. I get it close at 10 yards. I got a paper plate right there with the laser sighter in there. With my scope on the bullseye, I've got the laser about an inch and a half, two inches low. At 10 yards, that's generally a good spot to be to get us pretty close to dead on at 100. So I'm going to take one shot real quick here at 10 yards and we'll go back to 100. Assuming that she's ready to go. All right, now I've got a couple of those Brownings loaded in here. Like I said, I got my target down there at 10 yards. We're just going to take a shot quick here and see if we can get that 
hitting just an inch or two low. From there, we'll go ahead and take her back to 100. First time this rifle right here has ever been fired. I'm expecting the recoil similar to a little less than a 300 wind mag or so, but like I said, I've never tried this 6.8 before, but here we go. Helps if you take the safety off. Woo! So, you can see our shot hit up and down about where I wanted it. It's a little bit left, so I'm going to look through here. Adjust for the windage there, how we need it. And then lock those turrets. Let's go back to 100. The trigger is even better than I remembered on these XPRs. The trigger is crisp. Surprised me. It's lighter than you might expect for the price of that rifle. But let's go back to 100. I'm excited. All right, so here's my targets I've got set up here. If you're new to the channel, I use paper plates for targets when we go shoot groups at 100 yards. But top one, we're going to sight it in. Should be able to get it sighted in pretty quick. And then I'm going to come down here and do two clean paper plates, do some three-shot groups, really focus and take our time, see what kind of precision we can get out of that XPR and that browning ammo we brought out here. But let's go back to 100 yards, see what happens. Eyes and ears. And let's, uh, let's sight this 6.8 in and then do some same old groups with it. How about that for a plan? But here we go. Got the XPR up here. <clears throat> and again, I'm using that 175 grain browning to sight it in. I've got three loaded up in here. Hopefully, three is going to be enough to get us sighted in. What do you think? That's always the goal. Two shot sighting is even better. Go all the zooms here, which is 30 zoomies. Remember, this is going to be one of our long range rigs. Square up on that sight in plate and let's uh, let the first one fly here. See where we're at. See how good our uh, our bore sighting job was there. How about that? Bullseye. Uh, that's probably probably the most perfect bore sighting we could have done. Man, uh, let's take another one just to kind of verify. And then we'll go to a clean plate. That never happens, uh, but I'm glad, it, glad that it did. Check this real quick. Rail seems good. Rings seem good. I did blue Loctite them. Uh, the packaging from Leopold said you didn't have to. Uh, but I did anyways just because I want this baby to be locked down 100% confidence in it Let's take another one on that side end plate, and then we'll do three shot groups on the clean plates Where'd we hit? Let's go ahead and take three maybe we'll just do three three shot groups with the heavier recoiling cartridges. I find myself wanting to flinch and a little bit harder just to focus on that trigger squeeze when we're anticipating that heavier recoil here. But like I said, it's not too terrible. Uh, but let's take another third one here on that first plate. All right, so that one was about at like the first one. So I'm gonna go ahead and make a quick adjustment for that average. Go a little bit to the left. Which way is left? Turn it that way. Two clicks there. All right, now let's do two more three shot groups and just give it my best here at 100 yards with this setup. I think if I do my part, it's probably gonna do pretty good for us. So I'll slow down here, really focus on that trigger squeeze. Very good about that trigger squeeze. Looks like it hit a little bit different spot there. 
Take another one here. Felt really good about that trigger squeeze too. Let's take a third one on this group. Felt good about that trigger squeeze as well. So two of those are in the same hole. I'm gonna go ahead and make one more quick adjustment based on that average and then we'll do another three shot group real quick here. Lock those turrets down, I'm gonna grab three more. When I'm shooting hunting rifles at 100 yards, it makes me happy when we get them touching. Even better if we get same whole groups, but if we can at least get them touching, then I am a happy camper. Let's see how this three shot group does here. Bullseye, felt good about that trigger squeeze. Let's send a second one on this group here. Felt good about that one too. Looks like we just about kissed the same hole there. Like I said, that makes me happy, happy, happy. Let's take a third one here, then we'll go down there and look at how we did up close. All right, that last one I'm even happier with. Let's go down there and take a look. Stay tuned, I'm gonna be filming a video. I'm doing 100 yard ammo test, grouping different ammo out of this rifle to see which ammo and bullet weight that this rifle just absolutely loves the best but let's run down there at 100 and see how we did there all right so back at our targets here this is where we sighted it in got lucky in our very first shot hit bullseye then two more shots right here made an adjustment on the scope did a three shot group here got right there and i, I think i forgot to mention that's a penny that i traced so our three shot group here is definitely inside of one inch at 100 yards. But then our second three shot group is right here. So two shots touching right there and a third right here. That's probably a shade under one inch there as well. So we got the rifle sighted in at bullseye at 100 yards now. I'm definitely ready to test some more ammo out of this rifle and see what precision we can squeeze out of it. All right, so first impressions of the 6.8. Recoil, definitely manageable, not insane. Uh, I would probably liken it to a 30 out six, a little bit heavier. Again, it's gonna depend on the bullet weight that you're firing. These were 175 grander, so not too terrible. But when you squeeze that trigger off, break that trigger, you definitely feel uh, that you're shooting a powerful round there. But you saw the results that we got there out of this XPR, firing that 175 grain browning with my trigger squeeze. But I'm super excited. I cannot wait to do some more tests with it. And then this fall, take it out hunting. Comment down below, what do you want to see us hunting with this? deer, hogs, bear, uh, comment down below what you want to see. Again, a big thanks and a big shout out to Hunting Clash for sponsoring this video. Don't forget to check out the links down below. Check out the game. I know you're going to dig it. If you're anything like me and you enjoy hunting, you're going to enjoy the game. But appreciate y'all watching. Let me know what you think about the 6.8 Western. I'm super, super excited about it. I'm going to go set the turrets on this scope before I forget to do that, set it back to zero. But appreciate y'all watching. Stay tuned for a whole lot more on the 6.8 Western. I'm super excited about it. See y'all on the next one. Woohoo!